Hello, good morning. How are you today, my little explorers? I hope you're doing well. It's science class. And today we don't have a new lesson because also we are going to revise. So today we will be doing a quick revision about slow and quick changes to Earth's landscape. And before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. So what is the day? Thursday. And what is the date? May 28, 2020. Excellent. So everyone, it's weekend. So you can enjoy your time. So by the end of the revision today, you will be able to recall the slow and quick changes in Earth's landscapes. And also, you can recall what earthquakes are and what they cause. And here we go. As you can see, there are three lengths over here. The lengths are about weathering, erosion and earthquakes. So watch the videos and when you come back we will continue the revision. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to revise is weathering. I want you to say weathering. One more time. Weathering. Excellent. So let's read what's written over here. If you want you can get your science book and highlight the important information okay so up in page 12 okay write the day and date and let's get started so in the previous lessons we said that water can break down rocks into smaller pieces so water and wind okay can break down the rocks into smaller pieces. So the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering. So I want you to highlight this and to read it again. Let's read it together. The breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering. So water and wind can break down rocks into small rocks. Small rocks can break down into sand or soil. Over time, weathering changes the shape and size of rocks. Okay, and I want to ask you everyone about weathering. Is it a quick or slow change? Take your time. Weathering, is it a quick or slow change? slow change excellent it's a slow change okay and i'm going to show you some pictures for weathering in nature and as you can see everyone here are some pictures i'm going to give you some time look at these pictures and tell me what can you see so tell me what do you see i see rocks and those rocks are broken and missing some pieces. I think so they're missing pieces because weathering. Weathering means when wind or water break down rocks into smaller pieces. And it will change the shape of the rock. So let's look at these pictures. I'm going to show you more pictures. Look at this rock. As you can see, the rock is broken from the middle, and this is because of the wind or the water. What? Let's see more pictures. Do you see the hole over here? Yes. This is because of the weather. Yeah, because of the weathering. So, when the wind and water 
break the rocks into smaller pieces, we can say it's weathering. Excellent. So, great job everyone. Thank you for following. Now, we are going to talk about erosion. I want you to say the word again. Erosion. One more time. Erosion. Excellent. So when I say erosion, what is the first thing that will come to your mind? What do you know about erosion? We have studied in the previous lessons that erosion is... When wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. Well done! So, I want you now to open page 18 and to write the day and date. So, let's see it what's written over here. What happened to your sand mountain when you blew on it? Erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. Sometimes you can see erosion taking place. Moving brown water tells you erosion is happening. The water is brown because it's carrying soil. Erosion can make it hard for plants to grow. So everyone, I want you to highlight these lines, okay? So let's read it one more time together. Erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil into a new place. Okay, and I'm going to show you a picture over here. I want you to look over here and to see that the water is carrying the sand from, or let's say the sand and the rocks, the small rocks from place to another place, let me say. Okay, so let me show you some pictures. Okay. So we call this process erosion. Okay, so see here is the brown water. So the brown or the water is brown because the water is carrying a lot of sand. So this is a brown water and the water is carrying so I want you everyone to look at these pictures and as you can see over here the water is brown because the water in this case is carrying the sand. That's why you can see that the water is brown and we call this erosion. Excellent and also over here. So the water can carry the sand or the small pieces of rocks and take them from place to place. Excellent. Now I want you to move to page 36. So let's read what's written over here. I want everyone to write the day and date and also get a highlight or a colored pencil to highlight the important information. So let's start, okay? Let's read together what's written over here. And earth landscapes can change quickly. So, before a while, we were talking about slow changes. And the slow changes are weathering and erosion. So why do we say that erosion and weathering happen slowly? They happen slowly because 
they take years and years so they can be noticed sometimes you can't even notice slow changes like weathering and erosion so we can say they happen slowly they happen slowly now we are moving to talk about quick changes on the landscapes of the earth so let's read what's written over here landscapes can change quickly an earthquake can cause quick changes to earth's surface learn more about earthquakes and other quick changes to landscapes earthquakes rocks that make up earth's surface are pushed and pulled in different directions sometimes this movement causes the earth to shake an earthquake is a shake in earth's crust or outer layer okay everyone so i want you to get your highlight and to okay earthquake is a shake in earth's crust or outer layer so usually the earthquake happens when the rocks, rocks that make up the earth's surface are pushed, pushed and pulled in, in different directions. Excellent. Excellent. So, well done. And we call this movement earthquake. So the earth will be shaking. The earth will be shaking. shaking. And this movement is called earthquake. Miss Money, can I say to you something? Okay, you can say. The earth has crusts and the crusts are like jigsaw puzzles. And when those jigsaw puzzles collide, they make a shake and that is called earthquake. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much for this information. You're welcome. And I'm going to show you some pictures here. Look at these pictures and this is after an earthquake. So, as we said before, the earthquake is very dangerous, very dangerous. So, tell me what do you see? I can see collapsed building. And this is because of the earthquake. So, we said before, it's very Dangerous. Dangerous. Look at the buildings. Okay, look at these pictures, everyone. Um, you know, these pictures will show how does an earthquake happen. The earth has many layers. And also on earth there are plates. And those plates make up the earth. The earth isn't one piece. It has many pieces. And when those pieces bump into each other they make a movement and that movement is called an earthquake and i want you to look at this picture and let's say okay what do we see i can see three pictures the first one is plates going in different directions, directions. excellent and this will this will make an earthquake excellent and in the second one i can see the plates going under each other which will cause an earthquake and the last one i can see the plate a plate going above another plate that also makes or i could say causes an earthquake okay and let's answer the questions now so let's read the first one it is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces so what do we call this process when the rocks are rocking down into smaller pieces what do we call this weathering Excellent. So, the first answer is mother.
let's write it over here. Question number two. It is a shake of earth crust. Earthquake. Excellent. Okay, question number three. It happens when wind or water carries away rocks and soil to a new place. So what is the answer? Erosion. Excellent. Good job, everyone. So, and here we go. The last thing that we're going to do in the science class so let's read the questions and choose the correct answer so as you can see we have one two three questions and for each question there are three choices and you're going to choose the correct one question number one weathering is the breaking down of into smaller pieces the choices are down weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces or ships into smaller pieces or boxes into smaller pieces I'll give you some time to think it is rocks weathering is a weathering is a breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces question number two happened when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place what does the first word Earthquake happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. Erosion or weathering? I'll give you some time to think. Erosion. Erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. Question number three. The rocks that make up earth surface are pushed and pulled and this causes weathering erosion earthquake i'll give you some time to think you're right it's earthquake very good everyone thank you for following and thank you for listening see you next week bye